Hi guys, Colsey, and today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a review uh, and unboxing, mainly an unboxing today. Um, we're just gonna be taking a look at this item. Uh, so, so here we go, back to the downwards facing camera onto the desk so we can look at the product. Okay, so the product we have today is this. It is a phone, it is the Umi Digi Power 3, uh, and I have it, I mean, you can't really see that because it'll be out of focus, but it says Umi Digi Power 3, and it's in space gray, apparently. So, I don't really do phone review so often. Uh, the current phone I have is this. It is a, uh, it, well, it's got a case on it, but my current phone is this. It is a OnePlus 6, uh, you've got dual cameras, fingerprint sensor. I'm very happy with this phone. Uh, it's a pretty decent, nice little phone, and uh, I'm doing okay with it. But I figured we will have a look at this phone, and possibly in another video I will do a more full comparison where I use this new Umi Digi phone for, say, a week. Uh, I use it for a bunch of things. I do a bunch of tests, compare it to my other phone. Uh, I think that'll be some something good to make, and it'll be interesting to do, and fun for me to do as well, because it's something a little bit different. Today, we are just unboxing this, the Umi Digi Power 3. Uh, so let's take a look. It was £169, I believe. Uh, so not hugely expensive, but it is uh, supposed to be a pretty goddamn good phone. Slide this off. It's just a just a nice little box bit there. And, and really doesn't have a purpose, but there we go. And we can look at some of the specs on the back. Right, let me turn this around for you guys so you can see it. Now, the main thing that interested me on this phone initially was the battery. It's got a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, which is huge. Uh, so it should last a good couple days. It's Android 10. It's got 4 gig of RAM, 64 gig of storage. That's slightly less than the phone I have at the minute, but uh, should be perfectly good enough to do a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's got a bunch of cameras on the back. It's got a whole cluster of cameras, which I'm interested to see how good they are. Uh, that'll probably be in my next review. Uh, but all in all, it seems like a very nice budget phone. I'm going to be honest. It does seem very reasonably priced for what you're getting in this. I will pull that off. Oh, there we go. A uh, little letter. Uh, it says, uh, let's have a look at it. Let me let me turn it around. Uh, you guys can't see it, it's upside down. Uh, you know what, maybe I'll just flip the video, it might be easier. Building a great phone is hard enough, so building a great phone on a budget should be infinitely more difficult. Big thanks to all who uh, made this super phone super awesome by contributing valuable time and developing hardware, software, and other development. Here is the Umi Digi Power it's quite a big boy. How big is it in comparison to my phone currently? Uh, it's a little bit bigger. It's a little larger. I'm gonna be honest. So let's take it out of out of the beautiful box that it is in. Oh, it comes with a nice case, dude. And then we got a little link to the world thing here. I'm not very good at lighting up the stuff on the camera, so I apologize if everything's kind of out of place a little bit. But we'll look at we'll look at the rest of what's in the box in a minute. Let's just look at the phone. Oh, I think it's powered on. I think it has just powered itself on. Stock Android 10, fast charging, 6,000 milliamp battery. Okay, phone, if you could, 48 megapixel ultra wide macro quad camera, that's again, something we wanna look at. 6.53 full HD display, uh, Helio P60, blah, 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 and multifunction NFC. Okie dokie, right. Well, I guess we need to peel this off. Ooh, nice. You can kind of see the camera reflected in the in the screen there. I'm gonna have to take this case off a second. I know it's a lovely case, but I'm gonna have to just pop it off. Can't get the case off, struggling. Okay. We took the case off, uh, nice little case. I don't really, I don't know why, but I don't really expect phones to come with cases, but generally they do. On the back, what does it say here? Uh, 48 megapixel on flashlight, 13 megapixel, five megapixel, volume, fingerprint scanner, power button. All the standard stuff. Let's get started, shall we? You can kind of see the reflection of the camera. I can't really help that. That's how it's going to be. Right, English, United States. Uh, no, I want English, English. United Kingdom. Here we go. We'll skip that because I don't want to put a SIM card in yet. Uh, we'll skip the Wi-Fi for a second. Uh, is that the time? That is not the time. 14-ish. That'll do. I guess because we haven't set the Wi-Fi and stuff, it hasn't automatically picked up the... The date and time. Right, screen lock. Uh, your screen lock options. Can we do? We'll do a pan. We'll just do a big square. Okay, fingerprint unlock. Let's set this up. Next, touch the sensor with your index finger. So there's the sensor. Touch it with my index finger. So we have to keep adding different parts of our finger to attempt to uh, get it to fully recognize 
all of the finger. I guess it's just any way you could touch it is how you want to touch it. Right, fingerprint is done. Oh, hello, we got sound. Okay. Network error, it's gonna have a network error because at the minute it has no network connected to it. But all in all, it's a very nice looking phone. It does feel kind of heavy. Uh, batteries are 81% apparently. Uh, what can we see? Wi-Fi, no SIM card. Generally seems like a very nice phone. Should we test how quickly the unlock? So if we unlock it with the, with the pattern, we just do the big square. If I can do it. There we go, big square done. So that's how, how quickly we can unlock it with that. I believe it has face unlock, I think. But let's check with the uh, sensor. I mean, it works. It works perfectly fine. I don't think it's as fast as my other phone. So we go from off. It's completely off now. And now it's open. Okay, takes a second for it just to open up. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. It's not, it's not annoying. Uh, let's take a look at the camera real quick. Let's do a selfie. Hello me. That's, a, that's the selfie I took. Uh, what else can we look at? Can we look at the other photos I took? Apparently that is a F2. I mean, you can see it on the screen. It's apparently the, the thing. I mean, it's not a bad looking picture. It's not a bad looking picture by any means. All in all, it's looking like a very nice phone. It's very standard stock uh, Android, which is nice. Then you don't end up with so much bloatware and things you don't want installed that you, you might have installed. Uh, Play Store, it's just standard Google Play Store, which is nice uh, because, you know, there's a bunch of phones now that you can't you can't do that on, like Huawei's that don't allow Google anymore. All in all, a very nice looking phone, not too much branding on the back. There's a little bit uh, down here just in this corner if I can get the light to hit it right. Uh, it sort of says Umi Digi, but it's really hard to see kind of, but there's a little bit there. And then obviously you've got your camera cluster up here and your fingerprint sensor there, uh, which as we've discussed, works perfectly fine. It just takes a second. It gives you a nice little pop sound though. Other than that, don't really know more to say about the phone uh, without going into more review on it, which we're gonna do in another video. This is purely just an unboxing, but all in all, actually very nice phone, uh, works perfectly fine. It seems to seems to be pretty speedy swiping across stuff on the screen. So uh, I've got no complaints with it. It looks like a very good phone for a very good price. You've got the fingerprint sensor. The screen looks actually very nice with the way that the, uh, the selfie camera is in the top left of the screen and it's mostly screen on the front. So you don't end up with too much massive bezel but a little bit a little bit here and there happy with it right should we take a look what else comes in the box we've got we've got our little little booklet here with the sim removal tool and a little 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 booklet manual here it's actually quite nice the way that's laid out and then you just took that in there like a little little nice little envelope we have the charger here a usb charger uh, ac adapter uh, for a uk plug i do like the way that this is one of those sort of extendable ones so you can push that in pull that out that's pretty nice uh for for transporting it, it stays like a little, little block like that a little red charging cable that obviously you would plug into the power supply and then it is a USB-C charger on the other end so you can charge this up uh, i believe it's fast charging so that's pretty good especially with that big battery another thing about the phone that actually i haven't mentioned but was was a cool feature that it has so it comes with this little cable and this little cable is a USB-C to USB-C. So effectively how I understand that this works, let's see if we can make it work right now. We plug this in here. So we plug the USB-C into the phone. And then for example, if I had another device, which was USB-C, which I do, my other phone, if I plug this in here, it's supposed to be able to charge another USB-C device using this phone's internal battery. That's supposed to be the point. I'm going to go quickly grab a switch and see if it'll work with that. Rightio, I'm back. I've stolen my daughter's switch light to attempt to try it with that. Hmm. Uh... Oh, it's working. It is working. That is charging. It's charging from this phone. It is charging the switch. Now that's cool, especially because this phone has such a large battery, you actually have the ability to do something like that. It has such a massive battery. I'll do for my short little unboxing of the Umi Digi Power 3. I will be doing a more in-depth look at this phone and comparison against my, my phone that I currently have. Uh, but really, I think this is a great little 
budget smartphone with a lot of cool, interesting things. So I'm gonna give it some more testing, probably do another video on it. But for the unboxing, it looks nice. It looks like a cool little phone, not hugely expensive. Uh, and it's, it's a real nice looking phone, nice feeling phone. And it seems to have a, a fairly good spec. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you guys will be interested in seeing the next video where I do a bit more reviewing of it and a bit more comparison of it, testing out the camera, uh, giving you my opinion of it after using it for a long period of time. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys next time.